hi all so now we are going to create a simple application and the application name will be reimbursement form so the huge case goes like uh, employees of a company can fill the reimbursement form and all these details they have to fill it over description about the reimbursement it is a travel reimbursement so uh, related to office work on which day they have travel all these details they can fill here and what was the total cost incurred in that so all these details once they have filled there they can submit the form and based on that the a task will get uh, generated in the HRQ so they can either approve it or reject the task and all the records as well we have we will make a record list as well where we will generate all the basic data you can see here some persons are there all name email phone description or comments is there it is either approved or rejected by the HR and total cost as well and the approval was done or not so it was not done so based on all these details we will try to make our uh, form so to get it started let's go back to our application the APN designer and here we will name our application as travel reimbursement travel reimbursement we will name it okay so I guess e is missing yeah so and we will write the description as to capture the or to store the reimbursement uh, reimbursement details so all the details will be stored by this applications so we will try to cover only the CT and the data store part uh, in this so now our application is ready all the groups and the process model folders all these things are now so first of all what we will do is we will try to create a CDT to store all these details whatever the details we are seeing here all these details will be captured so let's go to that we can create a CDT from APN as well or from the database as well so we will try to create from APN so we'll go to the data type and here we will write it expense details so here we will try to write expense details okay and let's try to create it now our CDT will get created from here and here we have to uh, name different fields what are the different fields on which we want uh, the data to be captured so let's try to make some few fields there and then we will capture the detail from there so first field we will make it id so id will be of a number integer and it will be a primary key okay so it will auto generate from here and it will be primary key fine now the next field that we are seeing here is the employee id so we have to give the employee id we will create the employee id and employee id will also be let's try to take it as a text field only okay and after the employee id there will be name email phone number all this field we will create name okay uh, email is there and then the phone number is there after that uh, what description is there so on which date they have traveled like this so all the description users can give it and uh, some comments are there comment will be generally given by the HRs if they are either approving it or rejecting it that we will store here and after that uh, total cost is there so total cost we will configure it total cost is there and after the total cost uh, we can make uh, is approval so HR approval let's try to write it HR approval has the HR approved it or not approved it so that field huh. one more field we want to capture like when is there when they have travel so that date so requested uh, for so which date they have requested and uh, uh, which date they have request that we will capture and we will also try to capture that when is the form actually submitted both that can be different or both that can be same as well but we will try to capture that date as well so date logged so we will something like date logged so we will select the data type name is our text fields and by default length will be there we don't need 255 characters of data for that after the name there is email id 
and phone number will also be text description will all be text comments we will make a text total cost will we can make it in teaser field and HR approval HR has either approved it or not that we will keep it boolean requested for so on which date they have requested so that will be date and date logged so when the form is actually submitted here we want to capture the date as well and the time as well so we will capture the both date and time so all these fields are 25 255 comments uh, comments we don't need of 255 comment 25 is more than enough and description is fine phone number can be just of uh, uh, 10 digits only and the email id will also be of 50 characters and name is fine employee id we can keep it of uh, uh, 10 characters not more than that so that also we can keep it let's try to save our changes so we have configured the CDT for that now we will try to make our data store so that the same data can be reflected in our uh, TR in our database so data store is there okay so let's try to create our data store we will keep the default settings here as well and now our data store has opened so currently nothing is mapped in that and it is saying that at least one entity must be mapped so let's try to add our entity and here we have to search so tr will be generally in our very last page let's try to go there okay one more page we have to go where is our TR expense details so here we can see here we can write our let's write any name as well expense expense details okay let's try to click on save and now we will verify once verify we will get this message like no matching tables are found obviously like uh, with this name if we have to search in our database something as a TR so nothing nothing is going to get uh, fetched so if you see here there are no results so uh, it is saying like first option is create tables automatically so yes we want that tables should be automatically created so let's try to save and publish the entity is will be now mapped yeah entity is now mapped correctly and let's try to search once again tr okay uh, let's delete it and we'll search here tr so now you can see a tr expense details are now there and all the fields has now been logged so this is how we can create our new application uh, we have created the cdt and we have created the data store as well so that's it and we 